Guten Morgen a todos, estoy en Avon, Connecticut y vine a visitar una panadería de un amigo mío que hace mucho tiempo que no veía. Se llama Small State Provisions, así que vengan, que vamos a saludar. Hello, welcome. Kev, how are you? I'll see you for a long time. I know, I know. Believe, welcome. What is this? To our new bakery, <laughs> our new home. Beautiful. Uh, here in Avon, Connecticut. Thank you. Yes, incredible. Let me give you an apron. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, dive in. Right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. We've, we're in the middle of doing some bread shaping stuff. So okay. we'll head. Let's go. Right back there. So, Kev, I am amazed how you grew in four years. I remember the first time we met at your house, baking just a small bread with a little sourdough that you had. And I told you to make some foldings and organize. And now, yeah, we, where are we? So after that meeting where you did that wonderful video and we did bake at home, I had not even yet started selling bread out of my house. Um, it was that fall that I started just selling a few loaves at a time. And then I was driving them around in my car, oh. delivering them to people. Uh, and then the pandemic hit and then I delivered more bread. Mm. Um, and then we opened our first location in the summer of 2021, mm -hmm. which is in West Hartford, Connecticut. We have retail here at this location. Yeah, and we have retail at that location. And you open daily? Uh, we're open five days a week. Uh, Wednesday five days. through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday are production days for us. So these are our house sours for tomorrow. That a tons. Oh, this is for me? Yes. So oh, how oh, we do it. Okay. Last time I showed you how to do it and now you show me yes, how to do it. So this is a little method that I created. Mm -hmm. We basically go up to the middle. Mm. From the bottom? Yep and then up to the middle to create a little mm. square. And then I take this little piece and come up. Add to the center. Yep, and then side to side in. Mm -hmm. And then take this. This. And then I roll it up. Interesting. Like I've never seen that. And then you close the ends. Yep. And then we put it in seam side. No flour. No flour. There. Perfect. That looks great. Do you sure have air conditioner? We do. Ah, so do. okay, you keep it at 33. It 23. Seven. Yeah. Ah, you use centigrades there. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this tang zong right to the mixer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a cooked mix of flour and milk. Mm -hmm. And then we add organic eggs and it gets butter as well. Oh, yeah. And some more milk. And you keep so it cool. We keep it cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We make this the day before. Mm -hmm. And then this is just gonna come mm -hmm. right in here. here. How many kilos are you going to make so out of this? This is going to make about 48 loaves. Ah, 48 loaves. Yep. And each one weighs like a... About 750 grams. Ah, grams, okay. This is our starter, because mm. it's all naturally leavened milk mm. bread. So this is a very... This is the son of the one that I brought you four years ago? Yes. Yes. No, oh. no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little different. This is a stiff starter. Stiff starter, yes. See how... It was a little there's, development. Yes, right. there's some brown sugar in there, so mm -hmm. it's a sweet stiff starter. Ah, okay. And then this is going right in the mixer. Pull this right out. Wow. Woof. Just like that. Oh, it smells beautiful. Yes. Next ingredient? Sugar. Organic sugar. sugar. Organic sugar. Right in. Ooh. <laughs> now comes the uh, flour. Uh, yes. Organic flour. Organic. Yes. Baker's classic. Bread flour. Bread flour. Higher protein content. Very deftly. Good exercise. Yes. Mm. You don't need to go to the gym. No. <laughs> so we're going to bring this together and then we're going to let it auto lease auto -lease, for yeah. about 45 minutes to an hour. None of this bread will actually be shaped today. This will get mixed and then it's going to go in the, right in the fridge the fridge we'll permit this for a couple of days a couple of days yes yeah not one day so not one day two days we cold ferment it up to five days five days yeah wow, wow. i say like so much. and then you mix with your own hands do you mix like this no <laughs> we, we mix one to this no salt yet so we'll no salt yet salt once we get a little bit of loose development okay this machine has Two spits, or you can uh, just two spit one or two. One or two. All right, so we're gonna add the salt into this dough. Okay. And we're gonna finish the mixing. It has changed, huh? Yeah. Mm. This is Avon salt. Yes. <laughs> harvested right in our backyard. So now that the dough is done being mixed, 
we're going to take this out and put it into our tubs mm -hmm. weigh it into the tubs so that way we know exactly how many lobes are in each tub not yet shaping not yet shaping these will go in the fridge these won't be shaped until tomorrow or the okay. day mm -hmm. and then we'll pull them out and shape them so alex here is gonna gather them out Whoa. Incredible, huh? Oof. Pretty <laughs> strong. Or is it strong? So we're in the front of our bakery now. You've just come in these double doors. Mm -hmm. uh, as a customer, when you come in, when we're open, this whole case is filled with bread. Mm -hmm. So we have our different types of breads that we do, our milk bread, our house sours, our rosemary focaccias, mm -hmm. and our baguettes. This is filled with pastries. Mm -hmm. Use your imagination. We usually yeah. have cookies and, oh, and a couple yeah. of different types of cakes. We saw some banana bread. While you stay here, you would say, I want this one, yes. this one, yes. this one, this and one. And then you come all the way around. Yes. And you pay for your stuff here. Mm -hmm. And then you order your coffee here. Oh. So we integrated a coffee bar into the bakery with this new location. I think you have uh, that beautiful Marsoco. Yes, so we had this custom made in Australia. I know straight. And brought up or shipped up here. I like uh, the color, pink. Yes. <laughs> uh, which coffee do you use? I we use here I see it to kind of roasting. Yes, yeah, so this is a decaf. We use this brand, which is a, a roastery out of you were in Connecticut, wow. um, Alvarium, mm -hmm. and they're a great partner of ours. At our other location in West Hartford, Alvarium has a coffee shop directly mm. next door to us. Oh. So we sell the baked goods, they sell the coffee, ah, yeah. and here we sell both. And then at their, at their uh, New Britain Roastery Cafe, they sell our pastries. Mm. Um, and then- you Are you a uh, barista? I am not yet. No, no, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. ¿Te gustaría aprender todos los secretos para hacer unos increíbles panes de masa madre caseros? En Gluten Morgan TV, nuestra plataforma de cursos online, tenemos las mejores formaciones para vos. Cursos de panes, pizzas, hamburguesas, conservas, panetone, pastelería, pastas italianas y mucho más. Con un método muy fácil de enseñanza y desde la comodidad de tu casa y con los mejores chefs aprenderás a hacer las recetas que siempre quisiste. Entra hoy mismo en Glutemorgen TV o al primer comentario de este video y descubrí todos los cursos que tenemos para vos. Te espero. I can see the oven here, yes. which is a star. Have four decks. This is a gas power. And a gas power. So not all, electric. Not yes. electric. So all of the, the decks run at the same time. At the same temperature. How so, high can it go? Uh, we I want to say the limit is like five or six hundred. Five. So it can get okay. Fahrenheit. We bake in Celsius on this ah, one. Ah, you bake that's Celsius. That's what we're used ah, to. Ah, okay. So we bake our breads at two hundred and forty Celsius. Ah, two hundred and forty. Okay. Um, and then we basically run them through a series of dampers closed and then dampers closed again. Simple so opens and closes the dampers. So here you bake all most French breads. Yeah. I mean, like a baguette, our house loaves, and then we've got this. Oh, beautiful. Which allows us. That's to my eat. dream. <laughs> yes. Every this. baker's dream. Every home baker dreams want to have one of this. We put all of our breads on here, and so we can go side to side and up and down. And you don't lose many loaves because when you work with this, we don't with the peel, sometimes no. yeah. 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 they they get the steam at the same time. Yes. All of them. Yes. We do a pre steam, mm -hmm. and then we put them in, and then when we have the whole deck loaded, we do another steam. Ah, okay. So we create a little bit of a, a warm, like a, a moist environment before that first one goes in. Ah, good. And then we do a full steam once they're all in. Excellent. And um, how many bakes do you do per day or, or loaves or baguettes and loaves? It really depends on the day. Ah. We do a couple hundred each day. Oof. So, yeah. So into the oven right now, we've got our banana breads, which are made with 100% house milk rye flour. Mm -hmm. um, and these are going into the uh, rotational rack oven. Okay. Uh, Megan will get this put in. They click in. And now the whole thing will just mm -hmm. rotate. How, how long will it take at the temperatures? 
325, uh, and we're gonna bake these for about an hour. 325 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Uh -huh. yes. Like an hour. Oh, yeah. because it's really humid. Yeah, mm. it's a wet dough. It's a wet dough. Yeah. Mm. This we use for a lot of pastries. Mm -hmm. So we do our cookies in here. Right now we've got banana breads going. Mm -hmm. We do a gluten-free pound cake. Mm -hmm. um, this is much more of a citrus. Burger buns? Not yet. Ah, not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to open that box. So, uh, of mm. being able to fill the demand. No uh, coming back. No coming back. It's my hair. Recording. Your hair is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the production area, and the way I designed this space was... Because that, you design you know, everything. I designed the space, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. So we have bread over on this side, um, and we have our sheeter over here. So everything that works with sourdough is over here for the most part. And then over on this side is where we do all of our sweet baking. But that was really how it was kind of set up. We've got two proofers. So we use the uh, proofers here that's... to uh, put our focaccias in. Those okay. go in the proofer in the morning to kind of warm up. So mm. for our house sours, we make a, in the beginning of the week, we take our mother out of the fridge mm -hmm. and we might use a tablespoon of it. Grandmother. We, grandmother, yes. <laughs> so we take maybe 200 grams and then that becomes 5,000 yeah. or 6,000 grams. Mm -hmm. We put it in one of these big buckets up here. Yeah. Uh, and then that sits room temperature overnight until oh, okay. we're ready for it in the morning. And then we pull from that starter for the rest of the week. We just take out our seed and we make the following day mm -hmm. starter. But all of it coming from our, our starter that lives down here. So this is what we maintain. We feed Incredible. this about once a week. Wow. That's a grandmother. This is, yes, this is That's the... Pretty small. Pretty small, but that's all we need. I would say at this point, probably 20 years old, because it was a gift to me oh, from another baker who lives around the corner from here. We use 100% all-purpose flour. In it. Oh. It's just to keep the it's white down, it's white. But then when we make our starters mm -hmm. for our bread, we do 100% whole wheat. Okay. So it gives it a little bit more flavor. Yeah. The, the bran in there helps it ferment faster. Yeah. Um, and it's just something we like working with that starter better. And I see uh, you filter the, the water. Yeah, so that is a reverse osmosis system. Uh, changing the water depends the, the yeah. taste, the final taste. Yeah, so we have a filter down here mm -hmm. that runs for this, but this is our water doser. Uh -huh. So what this allows us to do is to basically have all of our formulas uh -huh. programmed in. So if I'm making 42 of our house sours, it knows 12.3 liters of water. Okay. And that's 12,300 grams of water. Mm -hmm. And then we can dial in the temperature here oh. on the side. So we basically have this little thing here. And if I hit start, it's going to set water out there. But it's just going to dispense up to 12.3 liters. It's accurate plus or minus 1%. So I know exactly how much water we're putting on all of our, our recipes. Incredible. So we have our laminator here, mm -hmm. our sheeter, as we would call it. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we use for cinnamon buns. Uh, we'll be using it for croissants. So soon. All of our, all soon oh. of our lamination. So this machine was really purchased to speed that up. Yeah. All of our croissants and stuff that we do are naturally leavened as well. We oh. don't use any commercial yeast in them. It's super easy. And more even. Too. More even. Very, very back yes. and forth. And then so. we have our storage room. All of our ingredients are back here. And then we have uh, our walk-in refrigerator is all. Here you do the cold fermentation. Yes. It's pretty cold. <laughs> I am still amazed because of your bakery is huge. But the first time it was in yeah. just your kitchen. Now look where we are. So thank you a lot for the invitation. Of course, of course. And uh, please remind all the people where you are located. Yeah, so we're located in Avon, Connecticut, U.S. Our physical address is 205 Old Farms Road. Okay. Um, so Avon is just outside of Hartford, Connecticut, for mm -hmm. those in the in the global community that are watching. So. And they can also find you on Instagram. Yeah, um, Instagram, we're just at Small State. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Same Great. on Facebook, mm -hmm. at Small State. Congratulations again Thank for you. your Thank beautiful you. bakery. And I hope to see you on the next episode. I don't know what is going to happened there. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. And red. Coffee and red. Thank you. Espero que te haya gustado el video. Si querés seguir profundizando en técnicas de panadería con masa madre, te invito a que visites todos los cursos que tenemos para vos en glutenmorgantv.com. Nos vemos.